Hi, this is Stu with Productive Computing answering a question that came recently on our YouTube channel about the add-on table review that Mark did, the new feature in FileMaker 17. Check it out. The question has to do with difficulty finding detailed information about what each of the add-on tables do because there's not really any manual on those. To answer the question in short, it is a shortcut. It is one click way of doing many, many things. And that means huge time savings for you. That means a solid foundation laid and whatever specifics you need for your solution then just get built on top of that. You don't have to worry about the things that you know are in every solution and you, you won't forget them because you have this solid foundation laid. And as far as the shortcut goes, Mark demonstrated very well in the video in just this one action item table that you can add on with one click, you get the table, you get 11 fields to that table, you get a relationship set up properly. And of course, the portal that you clicked, you have placeholder text in each one tool tips two value lists, assigning those new value lists to the fields, the right fields, added a button to adding records to a portal with a parameter and a delete portal row button, as well as three scripts. Now I want you to just pause right there for a moment and think, how long would it take you to do that from scratch? Even if you are the most experienced programmer from scratch to do all of those things, those 11 items, which some of them are multiple, like one of them is add 11 fields. Well, you'd have to add 11 fields. So there's a whole lot more than just 11. How long would it take you to accomplish that from scratch compared to one click and this is huge time savings as well as a good learning experience of some user interface options or some replicated data that maybe you could use in other functionality as well we already have a similar process like this in things like layout themes you don't have to create every single theme from scratch. They have some already pre-made that you just click a button and the theme is corrected, it's changed. And if you don't like it, you change it to something else. You don't have to go through each button, each field, each label, each layout part, and design what you need to do for the theme because it's already there in place, the general items. And if you wanna change one, you can, and it just builds right on top of that foundation. We also have other shortcuts like just a table view from a form view. Instead of designing a list view, which you could, and it would take some time, you can instantly have a table view. And that's just a quick shortcut. You can even add a field in that table view. It just, without having to jump over to manage database and do all that, you can just quickly add a field, kind of like you can in the layout object inspector. You just add it on the fly. You don't have to go back to all of the normal processes, uh, which you can do in a layout, like adding relationship to a field. You wanna just jump right in, you can go there as a shortcut. And even the functions themselves are kind of like a shortcut. They're condensing multiple things into one so you don't have to redo all of that code every single time. There are 11 options available for add-on tables. And these are the most commonly used tables in any solution. And I say tables, but I really mean features because as you saw, it wasn't just a table that was added, it was scripts and buttons and placeholders and all kinds of things. So these 11 options, you can see in looking at this list, all of these are probably ones you have used at some time or another. In fact, with the exception of inventory transactions, I have had solutions that had all of these in one solution, all related to each other somehow. So this is a way that we can really save time. And of course, that means saving money. But actions speak louder than words and a picture is worth a thousand words. So let's just demonstrate it quickly. 
in FileMaker. I'm just going to create a new solution. And you can see right away, this is actually very similar to the add-on table feature in that they have these pre-made starter solutions. And that's really kind of what the add-on table is. It's kind of like one of these, but it's just inside your solution already instead of at the start of the solution. You're kind of going back and saying, hey, I want to add one of those components. But let's just add a blank one and let's just call it options for now. And you can see it creates our one table and we've got our table occurrence, a couple of fields. And even with these five fields that it's putting on a table, that's like an add on solution. It's already putting things that most likely you're going to put these in your solution. So it already knows that. So I would recommend, I would encourage you to do this particular activity so that you can see exactly what you want out of all of these add on tables. I'm simply going to take a blank layout. This could be like a splash solution if you want, or just double clicking here and changing it to a top navigation instead of going up to layout, part setup, top navigation, change. See how it jumps right to here instead of going through all of that process. We only have this one layout and maybe this is like the splash screen menu, which I like to have a lot of my splash screen menus with that. So let's just do the add on table. And usually on a splash screen, you're going to have a people table. So we're just going to call it people. And it already puts all of this in as a shortcut. Now just that alone, adding the person table and the fields and this button alone with all the tool tips, one, two, three, four tool tips, this button here and the placeholder text for each of those that would take a long time. So that's why this is a shortcut. But it also added these other lists here, these other layouts. And so we have our list one and a button that takes you directly over to the details one. Now in this instance, what I want to do is just get an idea of all the different kinds of add-on tables that we have. This is what they gave us. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to add some tabs here and we're just going to make them very short and sweet because this is just for example to see what kind of options we have. So I'm going to paste all of the information that they originally gave us. But on this next one, I'm just going to make a portal and it doesn't matter what the size is. And I'm going to do the new add on table and let's choose action items. And that's all we're going to do. See it resized everything as we wanted. Let's come back and do it for the next one. Add on table and addresses many times with a people table, you're going to want multiple addresses. So we'll go to the next one and I'll just add each of these quickly. You have attachments. You could have multiple attachments per person and we'll just go through quickly and speed this up a little bit with companies. Even though you may not use inventory transactions specifically with a person, just having it there you can see the options and that's all we're trying to accomplish here is just to get a feel for what all is it that is available. We already did the people one. So we'll do phone numbers and we need one more tab panel. And there we have it. We have all of the different options. We'll create a record so you can see this and they have the placeholder. So you know exactly what is in this particular table. And this is 11 different relationships here of all of these. So if you want to see what the details are, they're all right there. And if you want to dig in a little deeper and you want to look at each table individually and say assignments, what do they have? You'll notice almost all of them just have the main housekeeping fields in action items. There's only a few here that are not housekeeping and just go through each one of them and see which ones do you like, which ones don't you like and attachments. It's just 
two fields, that's all it is, and companies. But look at the relationship graph. This is your person table, the only one that was not an add-on table, but they added it in as a join table because we had our splash menu. All of these, they created all on their own. How long would it take you to do that all by yourself? And all the fields, all the tables, and of course, let's look at the scripts. All of these scripts are organized and neatly showing exactly what they do. Let's look at how many value lists they have. All these are already populated and ready to go, which could be used other places in your solution. And one last little tip you might want to do is just do a DDR, database design report, on your solution so that you can see exactly all of the details that they have put in place with these particular solutions. You can scroll through and see the relationships and what are in the scripts and lots of information there. This is a tool that's missed out on quite a bit. And you may just want to save this particular table all by itself or database. And then when you create a new solution, just copy this and then delete the things that you don't want from your relationship. Maybe in this particular instance, you're not going to use inventory transactions. So you just remove that and maybe you're going to remove the general info and you have saved a ton of time. I hope that answers the question. I hope it gives you a little more insight on the power behind these add-on tables and what you can do. It could be you just want to take the concept of that with your own solution, but at least it's there. And I would challenge you to make that solution. There's nothing like physically doing it yourself. It's one thing to see it, but it's another thing to see it while you are doing it. So I hope this was helpful. And I hope you check out our Facebook page and the rest of our YouTube channel, as well as ProductiveComputingUniversity.com, where you'll find all kinds of other tips and tricks and courses to help you develop your skills as a FileMaker developer.